Peppa Pig. The Golden Boots. Peppa and her friends are jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish splash, splash, splish splash. <laughs> Somebody's having fun. <laughs> we love jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> And of course, later today, it's the big puddle jumping competition. Ooh! The winner of the competition is the best puddle jumper in the whole world. And my daddy always wins. Ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. I do tend to win, yes. Mr Pig, how do you always win? A lot of hard training and I follow a few simple rules. Who knows the first rule of puddle jumping? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. That's right, Peppa. And my boots are very special because they are made of gold. <laughs> they're not gold, they're yellow. <laughs> they are not yellow, they are real plastic gold. They're yellow. My golden boots, they sparkle and glitter. My lovely golden boots. They're yellow. My lovely golden boots. Yellow. Gold, 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 gold. Yellow. Gold. Anyone like some orange juice? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is Mrs Duck. She has come to take a look at the boots. Oh, no! Cheeky Mrs Duck is walking off with Peppa's boots. <laughs> oh, where are my boots? That's odd. They were right there. But now they've gone. Without my boots, I can't do the puddle competition. It is Mr Zebra the Postman. Good morning. What a lovely day for the puddle jumping competition. <laughs> Whatever's the matter, Pepper? I've lost my boots. Oh, really? I've just seen a duck with boots. Were they gold boots? Uh, no. Um, some people might say my boots were sort of a yellow colour. That's them, yellow boots. And there's the duck wearing them. <coughs> my golden boots! <coughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck, can I have my boots back, please? <coughs> Mrs Duck does not want to give Peppa's boots back. <coughs> There's no escape, Mrs. Duck. You can't just walk away from us. Oh, ducks can run. Mrs. Duck, those are Peppa's boots. Mummy, you won't catch Mrs. Duck. She's too fast. Peppa, I may not be as fast as I once was, but I can run faster than a duck. Oh, that duck can run quite fast. Captain Dog is on his boat with Danny Dog. There. All ready to sail. But, Daddy, you said you were never going to sail again. You said you were home for good. Ah, yes, I did say that, didn't I? Yes, my sailing days are over. Stop that duck! Hey. Eh? Mrs. Duck has taken Peppa's boots. No need to worry. Mrs. Duck has nowhere left to run. <coughs> oh. Ducks can swim. <coughs> Daddy, sail after Mrs. Duck. <coughs> but I said I'd never sail again. Captain Dog, this is an emergency. Oh, in that case, let's go! <coughs> <coughs> Captain Dog, will we be able to catch up with Mrs. Duck? Oh, oh, Mummy Pig, I think my boat can go faster than a duck. Oh, that's a fast duck. It 
is Grumpy Rabbit. He is not happy. What rotten luck! My boat sank, and now I'm a castaway on this miserable little island. Oh, if only there was something to eat. Oh, a duck. Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! Mrs. Duck has my boots, and she won't give them back. What? Those yellow boots? Yes, my golden boots. Oh, don't worry, Pepper. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. She's surrounded. Ah. Oh, ducks can fly. Ah. Mrs. Duck is flying higher and higher, all the way to the moon. The moon? Now I'll never get my boots back. Ah. Ah. Don't worry, Pepper. Ducks can't really fly to the moon. Why ever not? I've flown to the moon before. Mind you, I was in a rocket, which helped a bit, I suppose. Rocket? Yup. That rocket on the next island. Built it myself, all out of bits and bobs of scrap metal. Wow! A real space rocket! Grampy Rabbit, can you fly us to the moon? Um, I'm sure Grampy Rabbit has lots of important things to... Of course we can go, Pepper. Captain Dog, sailors to my rocket. Aye, aye, Captain Rabbit. Rocket. <laughs> George loves space rockets. Are you sure it's safe? Safe as houses. Uh, not that houses are made for hurtling through space. We don't need that, mate. Uh, I really don't think Pepper's boots will be on the moon. Nonsense! I... Mrs. Duck flew to the moon, and that's where we're going. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Pepper and her friend have landed on the moon. I can jump really high. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is it magic? Not exactly, Pepper. It's because the moon is much smaller than the Earth. In simple terms, gravity equals g times m divided by radius times 2, where g is the gravitational constant. So, it's magic? Yes, it's magic. Right, let's find that duck. Looking on the moon, looking everywhere, looking high, looking low for the golden boots. Are they in a crater? No! Are they on a mountain? No! no. Looking on the moon for the golden boots. How will we ever find my boots? <laughs> Let's ask at the shop. Shop? Where? You don't get shops on the moon. You do. Look. Postcards, ice cream, buckets and spades. It is Miss Rabbit's gift shop. Oh, hello. Thank goodness someone's turned up. I haven't had a customer on the moon for years and years. Miss Rabbit, have you seen a duck in boots? A duck on the moon? That's a bit unlikely if you ask me. Yes, ducks flying to the moon? Complete nonsense. Why did you tell us to come here, Mummy Pig? What? Uh, but I didn't. Uh, but if Mrs Duck didn't fly to the moon, where can she be? Grandpa Pig is in his garden, collecting apples. <laughs> Mrs Duck wearing boots. Those aren't your boots, are they? <coughs> There's nowhere for you to go, Mrs. Duck. You're cornered. Hmm, <coughs> these look like Pepper's boots. Uh, hello? 
Daddy Pig, has Pepper lost a pair of boots? Yes, she has. Grandpa Pig has found your boots, Pepper. Hooray! All aboard! Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden. One moment, Peppa. We have to make sure these boots really are yours. Oh. First, let's see if they fit George. <laughs> the boot is too big for George. Oh. Now, Susie Sheep. <laughs> the boot is too small for Susie. Oh. <laughs> it's just like Cinderella. Next, Peppa. The boot is just right for Peppa. <laughs> Good. These boots belong to Peppa. My boots. <coughs> My golden boots. <laughs> now we can go to the puddle jumping competition. Oh, yes. We'd better hurry. The puddle jumping competition is about to begin. Here is Mr. Potato. Let the jumping begin. First up is Daddy Pig. But where is Daddy Pig? Sorry, Mr. Potato. We got a bit held up. Daddy Pig, are you ready to jump? I certainly am. <laughs> to jump in a puddle, I must think like a puddle. I must become one with the puddle. Whoa! Big splash, a very big splash. Daddy Pig is the winner. Hooray! The competition is over. Hey, the competition isn't over until I do my jump. Who? Oh. Of course. Next to jump, it is Mr. Elephant. <laughs> a bigger jump. Yes, Mr. Elephant is the winner. Hooray! Can I? Have a go too. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, next to jump, it is Pepper Pig. Remember, Pepper, think like a puddle. Think like a puddle. Think like a puddle. <coughs> oh, I just made a little splash. So, Mr. Elephant is the winner. Hooray! Can I have another go, please? Er, uh, yes, you can. Wait a minute, but, but... And this but... time, can all my friends help? Uh, of course. Hang on, I don't think that's really... It sounds perfectly fair to me. Think like puddles. Think, Think like, like puddles. Five, four, three, two, one, jump! <laughs> Peppa and her friends have made the biggest splash ever. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are the winners! Uh, I'd still think... <laughs> it's so nice to have my golden boots again. I still say they're yellow. <gasps> they are my very own magic golden boots. OK, then my very own boots are... Ruby red. <laughs> <laughs> and my boots are emerald green. <laughs> Susie loves her ruby red boots. Wendy loves her emerald green boots. Pepper loves her golden boots. Everyone loves their boots. Jumping up and down is 